Howdy folks, Steve Goodgame here, K5ATA. I'm the Education and Learning Manager at American Radio Relay League, and today we've got something special for you. Today, we're launching a series that covers the 2022 ARRL Handbook. This is a great resource for all hams, but I have a little story to tell you first. I was licensed in early 1994. My original call sign was KC5 FKD, Kilo Charlie 5, Foxtrot Kilo Delta. Back in 1994, we didn't have YouTube. We didn't have an easy way to try to get information about how to do ham radio. What I didn't realize is I actually did have a resource available to me that I just thought was too much for a new ham. And how wrong was I? So I struggled through the first several years of being a ham radio operator. Sure, I had a great club. I was in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The people at the Plano Amateur Radio Club were more than helpful. Anytime I had a question, they were happy to ask, happy to help. The problem was I didn't necessarily always know what questions I had. I didn't really have a book other than the technician manual that I had studied to, uh, to earn my license. I didn't really have another resource. So I went and I, f I found a ham radio store, in, also in Plano, Texas, and they had a book on the shelf. It was the ARRL handbook. And I, I thumbed through it. They had one copy that was not shrink-wrapped. I thumbed through it, and just to be honest with you, it looked over my head. Like, not just a little over my head, but like way over my head. So I didn't get it. It was like, I forget, 30 or 40 bucks, and I was like... I, I'm not going to get this. It looked like something that was for people that are far more advanced than I was. Once again, how wrong I was. So fast forward seven years. Seven years, I finally feel like maybe I've figured out enough that I can get a copy of this handbook and actually understand what's in it. So I picked one up. I actually still have my original copy that I purchased. So, oops, the 2001 ARRL handbook. I bought this thumbed through it, did the same thing, went, oh my goodness, this is way over my head. But then I started really looking at it. And when you really get into it, there are a ton of resources in the handbook for new hams. So fast forward a little bit farther, or a lot bit farther, and we have this year's, the 2022 ARRL handbook. So some of the things that are in the handbook that I wish I had known were there earlier. Would have saved me a bunch of time and definitely some money. Um, coaxial feed line loss. Different kinds of coax obviously have different loss at different frequencies. There's a chart in here that tells you what's the best feed line and what your loss can be expected to be at different frequencies. That would have saved me a ton of cash. There are also instructions on here on the basic use of multimeters. Another thing that I knew the very basics of, but multimeters are capable of doing so much more and you can learn some of that in here. I recently had the opportunity to revisit the handbook, looking at it from the perspective of a new ham. Um, I wrote an article for On The Air magazine, and uh, you can choose that as your printed copy if you're a newer ham, and they'll mail that to you with your membership. Or if you prefer to keep your QST coming to your mailbox, you get On The Air magazine free in the electronic version. I also did an On The Air podcast where, again, I revisited the handbook and discussed how it's useful for new hams. Looking at it through that lens gave us this idea of this is something we definitely need to get the word out about. And who else better to get the word out than people that you watch already on YouTube? What I've done is I've reached out to several YouTubers and said, hey, what is it about the handbook that you love that you think is suitable for new hams? And some of it's also stuff that's suitable for, for more experienced hams. Everybody knows this is chock full of in-depth information for the experienced ham, but a lot of us don't or didn't realize this is a great resource for new hams as well. In fact, I would say this is the book that every ham needs to have. Okay, so who do we have on the lineup for today? Myself, Steve, K5ATA, Josh Nash from Ham Radio Crash Course, KI6NAZ, Steve McGrain, Kilo Mike 9 Golf from Temporarily Offline, we have Jason Johnson, KC5HWB from Ham Radio 2.0. We have Hayden Honeywood, 
VK7HH, or his U.S. call, Kilo Delta 9, as he likes to say, sugar, sugar, baby. We have the Smoking Ape, and we have Chuck Thompson, KK6, USY, Ham Radio Adventures. What I've asked each of them to do is to go into the handbook and find those favorite parts, those little nuggets of information that you think are great for a new ham, and then explain why you think that's useful. So if you're watching this because you click the playlist, this is automatically going to take you from one video to the next. If you're not in the playlist, and maybe you're watching this after the fact, each of the videos is linked below. You can click on the video and then just click on the next one in series. Each of the videos will have those links in their description. Of course, there's also a link to pick up your copy of the ARRL handbook, which I highly recommend for every ham, and a link to join American Radio Relay League. So go ahead and have a seat, get your favorite cup of joe, and let's learn a bit about the 2022 ARRL Handbook. Let's go.